Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I am reviewing a notebook and particularly the paper in this notebook. Uh, this is from Endless. Uh, they made the Endless Recorder, which is this notebook uh, a few years ago with Tom or River paper. And now they have a version of this notebook uh, with a paper called Regalia paper. Um, it is 80 GSM, acid-free, fountain pen friendly paper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cover a few basic features of this notebook. And then we're going to look at some tests I've done on the paper. So the version I have here is the ruled version. It is black with this beautiful blue accent. Two ribbons, a black and the same colour as the accent. It's a sort of it's a it's a faux leather cover, but it's nice and secure. And then some information here. So I'll cover a few of these features. As I said, it's 80 GSM paper. Uh, exceptional ink friendliness, zero bleed through, rule, uh, ruled page layout, 187 numbered pages, 16 perforated sheets, two index pages, expandable inner pocket, two page markers, and then the size, which is eight by three by 5.5, which is just slightly smaller than a five, just slightly, but it's in that same kind of family. Um, it's really interesting. This brand do they really care about what they do. So they care about the paper quality, they care about like the features. Um, they make a point of like saying these are created for creators and I love that. Um, so yeah, it's designed in Madras and made in India. Uh, it's, you know, got nice smooth paper, so this leather rate cover, simple embossed sort of logo on the back there and then their little like um, ellipsis thing on the front there. Um, and uh, take that elastic band off. You know, nice simple end pages. Comes with a sticker, and you're able to register your notebook. Um, yeah, it, I said that end pocket there, and uh, these ruled numbered pages, which is nice. It's sort of like a it's a simple grey rule, very fine line, which I enjoy. Same with the uh, the numbering system. But let's look at how this paper actually performs. Now, the endless notebooks I've used in the past, the Tom or River ones, um, have oh, that's stuck there. Uh, obviously not dry when I put that uh, close that down. Uh, what they they've always had great build quality. They've you know lasted. They're well bound. All those kinds of things. I should show that like you know it's a simple it's a simple binding um, and little signatures and then sort of glue bound and all that kind of stuff. It's nice. It's really it's like but there's it's these features like the page numbers and the perforated pages and the pockets and the all those things that make uh, endless notebooks just you know you know, very, very well thought out. So I have done my usual range of uh, ink tests here. So extra fine nib with the uh, Van Diemen's ink Cradle Mountain in a Twisby Go extra fine. O Diamine Oxford Blue in my Estabrook Camden with a medium nib. Robert Oster, this is a, a new ink coming out soon. Uh, exclusive to Pensive Pens, it's Jag, I suppose you'd say. Uh, in a Twisby Eco Broad nib. I then have Lamy Black in a Lamy Safari with a 1.5 millimeter nib, so laying down a nice amount of ink. Then the infamous Base Day Blue in a Jin Hao Fine, because this ink does just tear up paper. So I wanted to see how that would go. We then got like a Lamy Rollerball, a Pilot G2 gel pen, a Fisher Space Ballpoint, highlighter. Now, I tested this because I test the highlighter over the, uh, the Fisher Space pen sort of smeared a lot of that. So I then just use a reg another regular ballpoint and there was less smearing. So, but still a little bit. So maybe this paper, the smoothness, you know, sort of the oily ink of the ballpoint sort of sits on the top a bit more. A Palomino Blackwing with an eraser, a couple of passes, which did an okay job. A Sharpie. And then what I did here is I took Robert Oster Tranquility and hit it with a water brush pen. And then I just did a smear of Montevetta California Teal to see if we get some sheen. And my word, we get some sheen. It's great. Um, I said it wasn't dry, so we got a little bit of a, an attack over the other side there. But let's now uh, let's now look at the reverse of this page. So a couple of spots, the dye mine Oxford Blue has come through, um, and the Jinhao uh, the Base Eight Blue has come through in a couple of spots. But for the most part, everything else has performed beautifully. The fountain pens, even like the broader, you know, the Lamy Black in the uh, in the 1.5 millimeter nib doesn't come through. There is some ghosting. You can see through it, but it's not too bad. The show through is pr pretty good. Um, like, and on the front page there, we get like, it's very, you know, everything shades well and there's a little bit of sheen and it's kind of nice and tight and neat and it's good. It's good. 
Like, it's good paper. Is it as good as Tolmore River? It's different than Tolmore River. It's a heavier paper. It's slightly slightly more toothy. It's smooth, but, like, Tolmore River is very smooth. And because it is so light, uh, you get a lot more show through, whereas you don't get as much on this paper. So I quite enjoy a lot of elements of that. It's a different, it's a very different paper. Um, and but I think in terms of everyday use, and these notebooks are designed for everyday use. These are, you know, great notebooks to carry. They are great notebooks to have in your bag, to journal with, to, you know, take into a meeting. For that kind of use, really, it doesn't matter what kind of pen you're using. There's only, you know, a couple of spots where things came through, and that's where, like, things were doubled over, or it was an ink that is particularly aggressive. Um, other than that, it's performing really, really well. So, you know, you could easily use this... Um, you know, with just about any pen you were, you know, wanting to use. So it is different to Tomo River. It is different to their original paper. And, but I appreciate that because firstly, Tomo River is going through some issues at the moment. So a lot of brands are looking for alternatives, uh, you know, to, for their notebooks. And this is a really nice one. Um, it's, it's, yeah, it's very nice to write on. It's smooth. It's, it's good. It's kind of, it, it's what you would hope a, fountain pen notebook would do everything performs well everything looks nice you know so good on them for finding a paper alternative that actually does the job i really appreciate that and i appreciate it's not too toothy and the you know the weave of the paper is still fairly tight so those who are looking for the same kind of um you know shading and sheen and stuff that you get on toma river this will perform sim in a similar way they also have this paper in a range of other products. And one thing I'm going to be showing in a couple of weeks' time is their uh, storyboard notebook that they put into the uh, leather cover, the Explorer, which I am loving. Um, I'm, I'll show that, as I said, in a couple of weeks, do a nice little review of that. So if you're wanting like a little hardcover notebook, Endless is a great way to go. If you're after something more sort of like the Traveler's style, you know, with like the leather uh, leather cover and you know, sort of smaller, more modular systems, they have you covered as well. So check out Endless or Made by Endless. And uh, yeah, get, you know, have a look at these, uh, these notebooks. The recorder is a well-tested notebook in terms of the build quality and all of that. And now with this paper, it's a really interesting option. So a big thank you for Endless, to Endless for sending this uh, notebook as well as uh, you know, some other stuff out to review. Um, their support and your support, my audience, is always really, really appreciated. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe, hit the notifications button, get in touch if there's a way you would like to support the channel. Uh, and in the meantime, enjoy your notebooks, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.